Hello everyone, we're going to be showcasing how to do a mailbox migration from Google to Office 365. We're going to go through each step, but also make sure you have our user guide nearby. First, we're going to be setting up the connectors. We will then test the configuration using the get list functionality and run our first migration. For simplicity, we're going to be using the automatic mode for both Google and Office 365 connectors in this tutorial. You can create the connectors via the expert mode using our user guide. With all this said and done, let's start. After you have logged into the portal, click on create project, give your project a name, and select the region, and then click on save. In the project, navigate to the top left side and click on connectors. First, we're going to be creating the Google connector. So click on new, select from the list G Suite, select source as the direction, mail as the product, and then give your connector a name. Click on next. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the Cloudaway Google service account. Uh, you can use the expert mode if you want to manually create all your stuff yourself. For simplicity, we're not going to be using the expert mode in this tutorial. Uh, more details are available in our user guide. In the screen, enter all the domains that you wish to migrate. Also, enter the migration account and the password. Uh, this will be the user that will be impersonating when migrating resources such as rooms and equipment. The phone number and the favorite logon location are not used for mail migration. Click on next and complete. Now that we have the Google connector set up, we're going to be doing the same thing for Office 365. Select Office from the dropdown, select target as the direction, and then mail as the product. Again, give it a name and click on next. Again, we're going to be using the automatic mode and not the manual one. In the automatic mode, you just have to have an existing migration account and its password. Uh, it doesn't have to be the element of the tenant. So let's do so. And then grant admin consent. This will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. For this, you'll be prompted for a global admin account that is only necessary for installing the application. Click on accept. Now that we have both of our connectors set up, let's migrate the user. Navigate to Mails, select User Mailboxes, select Migration, and then Get List. This will connect to the source and retrieve all the users. Select Google as the source, Office 365 as the target. This can remain start standard, and for the matching rule, you can select the first option. Get User List. Let's pick up the user and migrate him. First, we're going to edit the user and change his target email address. Click on OK. Note that the platform is not provisioning the user. It has to already exist in the target tenant and also have a valid license. Now, once done, let's migrate him and we're going to come back once the migration is completed. Good news, the migration was successful. We can see the statistics in the user details. We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard. Thank you for watching and please do check out our other migration guides.